Welcome back. Uh, in this uh, second video on the counter, we're going to start exploring how to simplify the code for this app. The code is getting a little bit complicated and difficult to manage. And this is something that we experienced when we were trying to fix the, the error with the dividing by zero last time. We had to go back and fix it in like six places. So something we're going to look at this time is creating what's called a procedure. So with a procedure, you can create your own blocks. You can make a brand new block that does something. And in particular, you can think about something that you keep doing over and over again and find yourself copying and pasting. And when that gets tedious, it's really helpful to just define a new block um, to do that operation. So I'm going to start with a really simple procedure. So I'm clicking on procedures here. And there are two kinds of procedures. There's a do procedure, which changes the application in some way, changes its state. And there's a result procedure, which calculates something and gives you a value back. So we're going to start by creating a result procedure. And when you create a new procedure, you want to give it a name that's meaningful. I'm going to call this one add one because adding one is something that we're doing quite a lot. We do it here, here, and then of course with those denominators. So in the add one procedure, I want to take some value, add one to it and return it kind of like we've been doing down here. So what's that going to look like? Well, I'm going to grab an addition block from math. I'm going to grab a number, put a number one there. But now the question is, what goes in this empty space? What is it that we're adding one to? Well, we have to specify what we're going to call an input for the procedure. And so our procedure, add one, is going to expect an input, which I'm going to call number. It's going to get some number as an input and it's going to add one to it. Now, if I hover over the name of that input, I get two blocks that come up, get and set. Get gives you the value of that input, set changes it. We're, we're interested in just knowing the value we were given. So I'm gonna grab this get, and I'm gonna put get number here. So what the add one procedure does is you give it a number as an input, and then it will take that number, add one, and give it back. So how does that work in practice? Well, let's look over here. We can replace this add one block over here with, a, with a using our procedure. So I'm gonna go over here to procedures. And now that I've defined add one, there's a new block, which is my add one block. And this is what's called a procedure call. I'm telling it when you get to this block, go over here to where I defined it and do whatever it says. Now, what number is it that I want it to add one to? Well, I want it to be happybox.text. So I have replaced the original with a call to my newly defined procedure, add one. So you can look at how I've set this up here compared to down here to get a feel for what I've done. I've defined whenever I want to add one to something, I can just call the add one procedure. That is a new add one block I've defined. Give it a number to add one to, and it'll just give it back to you as its result. So I can make that same substitution down here. So I'm going to trash that. I'm going to bring in a call to add one, and this time I'm going to give it sadbox.txt. So something that's really powerful about the idea of a procedure is that by giving it different inputs, you can use it in different places with different roles in the application. So to kick things off, let's go ahead and connect our AI companion. And this will just take a moment as I open it up and prepare to scan the QR code. Now scanning that QR code. Okay, it's connecting. And then you can see in my video feed over here, 
what the app looks like and we've got the happy sad and reset buttons and happy makes things green and sad makes things bluer just like before so it doesn't do anything differently i've just reorganized the code a little bit to take into account things that i am repeating speaking of things that i am repeating a real monster here is how i set up the background color Notice that I actually do exactly the same thing in three different places. When that happens, that's your code telling you you want a procedure. It's it's begging you for a procedure. So this is going to be a do procedure because it doesn't give me a value. It just changes the state of the application. So I am going to call this procedure mood color. And I'm just going to grab this whole block and turn it into this definition of mood color. So let me move a couple things around. So now, whenever I hit the reset button, I'm going to want to call the mood color procedure. And likewise, whenever I click the sad button, Yep, I'm going to delete all 20 of those blocks. Why? Because I have a procedure that replaces them. And I'm going to do the same thing here for happy button. I'm going to delete all 20 of those blocks. And I am just going to call my procedure. I'm going to change my, the layout of my blocks a bit. What I'm going to do is put all of my buttons near the top. And then I'm going to put my procedure definitions below that. So this is already a lot cleaner, um, much, much nicer layout, and it all still works just like it did before. So um, here I've got a sad of one, and then I hit a bunch of happies, green things out, I can hit reset, it, it blackens out. Let's actually talk now about that reset and why it blackens out. So when I reset, these both go to zero, which means I've got zero in the numerators of these ratios. Zero times anything is zero, and so zeros for these makes it black, which is honestly fairly ugly. So I'm gonna suggest that we take another approach, which is use our add one procedure. That is, nobody's making us Nobody's forcing us to have zeros in the denominator and the numerator at that point. We can just add one to them. And that way, when we reset, we'll be kind of half blue, half green, because we'll have a one in the numerator and a one in the denominator. So let's make use of our add one procedure. So instead of just giving it happy box, I'm going to give it happy box plus one. And instead of sad box, whoops, didn't mean to take everything out. Instead of sad box, we'll have sad box plus one. All right, so now let me bring back the app. And right now it's kind of in its old state, but now when I hit the reset button, it starts at zero, zero, and a nice cyan halfway in between the green and the blue. And I hit happy, and it gets a bit greener and so forth. I hit sad, and it gradually gets bluer. I can mediate between them, and I can reset it back to this nice cyan. So... This is a pretty big improvement, and the fact that I defined a procedure made it easier to think about this because I only had to change this in, in, in two places instead of six places like I did before. So now here's my challenge for you. I want you to examine what we've got here. Look at these blocks and see if you can find somewhere else where you could define a procedure to simplify the blocks even further. Is there a procedure you can come up with that'll make this even simpler? So pause the video, address that challenge, and when you're done or when you get frustrated and run out of steam, come back and I will show you how I would do it. Welcome back. Let me show you 
how and what I would simplify. What I would simplify are the blocks for calculating the colors over here. They're very, very similar. The only difference between them is what's in the numerator, and we can adjust count for that by using an input. So let me create a new procedure. Now we have the question, is this a do or a result procedure? Well, I'm going to be calculating a value and then giving it over here as a color option or a color value. And so this is going to be a result procedure. I'm going to call this color ratio. So now what's color ratio going to look like? Oh, I need to give it an input. And I'm going to drag over this input and I'm going to call this input numerator. Like so. OK, so to write this procedure, I'm going to drag over this block, which is kind of a template, you know, for the procedure. It's, you know, what I'm going to replace it with. And now instead of happy box there, I am going to use numerator. Then when I call the color ratio procedure, I give it, whoops, sorry, I just disconnected. Okay. I give it happy box. Happy box then becomes the numerator input and just plugs right in over here. And now I can do the same thing for my blue. So all of this goes away. Yeah, yeah, I, I want them gone. And I'm going to call color ratio over here. And this time I just give it sad box. Okay, so now I am ready to reconnect my app and try this out. So I am exiting, restarting. Let me call. AI companion, I'm going to scan my QR code. All right, and so the app is about to start up. And there it is. Okay, so I've got my screen. And this isn't going to do anything differently than it did before. I'm just testing to make sure it still works correctly. And then I hit reset and it goes back to cyan. You know, testing is just very, very important. I've been programming since 1982, and I never just trust that I got it right. I always test my code after I modify it. Very, very important. All right, a couple other modifications we can make here. One is that we could actually use our add one procedure even in the denominator. So if I come back here to this add block, um, I'll just make it add happy box and sad box. And then I will call add one to add another one on to the end of it. And something that's nice about doing this is you can see some symmetry between what we're doing in the numerator and the denominator. In both cases, we're adding one because we don't want zeros in either place because zeros make the color black and kind of unattractive given the overall design of the app. So look at this overall. This is a much, much cleaner implementation than we had before. And it even facilitates some other things. So one last little thing we're going to do is something that happens with this app is that when it starts up, it still starts up white. But what we really wanted to do is to start up um, just as if I had hit the reset button. So here's how we can do that. There is a special event, which, you know, we you go to screen one, you go to when screen one initialize, and this is stuff that happens when you first open the app. So when it starts up, we're just going to tell it to call mood color. We don't have to reset them to zero because you might remember in our designer, we already set the text to zero on both of those text boxes. So when the screen initializes, we want it to call mood color. And at that point, come up, you know, looking um, as if I'd hit the reset button. So I'm going to stop and exit the application and restart again so that we can see this in action. So, whoops. All right. Yeah, it figured out that it disconnected. All right. So now I am going to scan QR code. And 
wait for it to come up. And ta-da, it comes up cyan the first time. It initializes using our mood color correctly. Look how much effort our procedures have saved. Instead of having four copies of mood color, I've just got one set of these blocks, and then I just reference it in these four different places. And this makes for much cleaner code. Keep in mind, right, procedures are in a sense optional. That is, you don't necessarily ever need to write a procedure in order for your program to work. But what you're going to find as you get more and more experienced is that procedures make it possible to write larger programs. Thanks to procedures, you can get a lot more work done because they simplify the program so much. So uh, it's just something to think about as you build your apps. Uh, if you find yourself doing a lot of copying and pasting, that's the code telling you, please give me a procedure. We're going to do one more video enhancing this app just a little more. I will see you next time.